Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and I am in sunny Florida. Today we are doing an unpack with me. I feel like a lot of us do pack with me videos, but this time I wanted to do an unpack with me because a lot of the times people go on trips and they just live out of their suitcase and there's a lot of stress and chaos going on. I'm going to show you how to unpack like a pro. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to be honest, I already started unpacking a little bit. I have kind of like some random stuff laying around as you can see. Um, so first we will kind of just dive into what we have here and then how we're going to organize this and put it away. Okay. I have Ryan filming for me because I didn't bring a tripod. That's something I should have brought. But we use these space saving packs. I will link the ones we got from Amazon down below on my storefront. Let's go through what we brought. I also have a really big one right here. This is gonna blow your mind how much stuff I brought, but just keep in mind, I'm trying to create content while down here, so. Okay, and obviously these bags are reusable. You got a vacuum hose and you suck out the air and then it flattens down for you and you can pack it real easily. So, I think we should start off by going through this big pile of clothes really quickly. I brought a few sweaters, including this one from American Eagle. I actually thrifted this. Um, I wore it yesterday on the flight and then kind of peeled the layers off. So here's that sweater. It's really cute. I thought it would be really cute for like a sunset picture or something. Next is this set from my friend Jenna's Boutique. Check that out in the description as well. It's called Peachy Sheet Collections so cute it's a little small business that my friend owns so it's a skirt and a crop top together so i cannot wait to wear this take some pictures in it next thing i have here is this thrifted cardigan from little ralph lauren and i just thought this screamed florida i don't know how i'm gonna style this yet but i'm really excited to next is a pair of jean shorts of course you cannot come here without jean shorts these are from Shein and I got a medium because I always size up a little bit and they fit pretty good. Next is another sweater from American Eagle that I also thrifted and I absolutely love this. It screams Florida at night or something like that so I just can't wait to style this and take some photos. Next is a thrifted dress and this one is strapless and just floral and I just thought it would be really cute like over a swimsuit or just like in general. So cute. Next I got this little cropped sort of cropped cami from Target, it was literally on sale for $3. And it just, I love the orange vibes in Florida, so. Next I got this set from Shein. It's this little funky orange skirt and this little crop top. It has like lace detail and flowers everywhere. And I figured I could wear this like orange picking or something and do an all orange look. From Primark, I have this little checkered orange and white skirt and I thought it would give like creamsicle vibes, right? So I was thinking I could pair it with another orange top like this or something. So I have this set from Primark. It is just like this orange color shorts and a little top. I also have that set in this color blue and I'm wearing the little shorts right now. Next, I have this cute little floral green dress from a boutique called Island Gypsy. It's located in New Jersey and I worked with them before and they are just, they have the cutest stuff, so. This dress is also from Island Gypsy. It is the cutest little thing. It has like an opening in the middle and it kind of crosses there. It's just, I love the floral details and the colors on this. Next thing I packed was this other dress from Island Gypsy. It's like a light purple and it's frilly. It was definitely giving spring vibes. I'm really excited to shoot some content in this. This was literally on sale for $5 at Island Gypsy at the end of the season. Next thing is this long dress from Old Navy originally, but I thrifted it. So I thought this was so pretty just to put over a bathing suit or something. Next is this black jumpsuit from Shein. It's actually like that spandexy stretchy material that you would wear to the gym. It's a halter tie and it's like a long pantsuit. You can't really see what it looks like right now. Go follow me on Instagram to see how I style this. It's at Kate Lar. Next, I brought my tried and true airy shorts. These are a size small and they're just white, stretchy, love these. Next thing I got is like a basic, but it's this like little blue crop top from Target. Five bucks originally, little blue crop top moment. I thought this would look cute with just jeans or jean shorts or just in general. 
Next thing I got was this little tennis skirt from Shein and it was only like $7, so I had to get it. It was so cute, it's a little skirt. It has shorts built in. And then to go with that skirt, I actually thrifted this vintage Nike, I think it's supposed to be a golf or tennis top, but I figured this with this and then I did also buy a white little visor. Then I brought my linen white beachy pants. I got this in Fort Myers one year at like a little beach shop, so these will go perfectly on the beach or just in general. Next up from Five Below, I got this large, it says be nice with like a bunch of fruits and I just thought it would look so cute over like a bikini, so had to get that one. Next I got this little white crop top from Target. I believe this one was on clearance for like $3, but it's just a basic that everyone needs in their closet. Next is like a little set from Shein again, like funky flower skirt. And then I have the little crop top. I believe this one is like a little like halter top. So I felt like this would be a really cute little outfit for down here. This is also from my friend Jenna's boutique and you can kind of see it says her little brand there, peachy chic. The top is really, really gorgeous. It just looks like this and then it ties behind. And then the bottom is also a skirt. I love yellow in Florida, especially with floral print. This is like my favorite thing. Next up, I actually thrifted this dress. Didn't know how I felt about it, but I figured I could make it work. It's this long hot pink, dress with palm trees on it and I honestly just thought it would look really cute over a bikini at the beach or something. Next up, I see these all over my Pinterest, but it's a little swim shirt and it is the perfect colors, the pink and blue, I love. It says Marathon Florida and I figured I would put a bikini underneath it and kind of make it look cropped and just like ride that whole wave. I actually thrifted this oversized like v-neck sweater, it's Tommy Hilfiger and I thought this would be a really cute little thing to throw over. Not sure how I'm gonna style it yet, but obviously stay tuned. Next up is this little crop top that I got from Shein a while ago. It's just like this little purple top. I just thought it was so cute. Next up is this long black sleeved crop top. It has like a cool cutout and everything. It just looks so put together and cute, but it's still like a simple piece. Next I thrifted this little dress. I don't know where it's originally from, but I figured it would look really cute here over a swimsuit or just again, in general, it just looks so cute. Then I got this cropped blue, long sleeve top that kind of ties and it looks so pretty on. I cannot wait to wear this. It's gonna be out for dinner or something like that. Right, next, I'm gonna talk about the Beach Club real quick. I am wearing one of the t-shirts right now. It says Beach Club Varsity and this is Greta Wilson's brand if you don't know. Um, this is one of the tees I got as well. It says Hello Sunshine and then on the front it says the Beach Club. I obviously got these really oversized to go over like bikinis or just have like a chill day in them. The other shirt I got from them says love's not for suckers and it was like their valentine's day launch thing i just thought it was really cute i also have a little tote bag that i will show you in a little bit but it's from the beach club as well so i was planning on shooting some content and this stuff i just shot some at trader joe's actually next up i actually bought these socks down here at five below and they're actually so good they come up a little higher for my blazers that i brought because my ankle was like rubbing so i got these and they actually are really soft and cozy so win-win okay next up in my suitcase is this oversized men's thrifted button shirt and it has like dark blue and dark green in it so i figured over a swimsuit with this open it would look so cute next i thrifted this life is good shirt and it's like a girl with ice cream and her dog and it says lean on me it's so adorable i love the color i just thought i could throw this over a swimsuit for a casual look Next up, I brought this Abercrombie thrifted sweater. It's cropped and navy blue and white. I figured it'd be so cute to like go by the boats and take like a nautical photo in this because that's the vibe. Here is that white visor I was talking about earlier to wear with the tennis outfit. So I'm really excited to put that together. I also brought some flower clips. I have a pink and orange and the other one is blue and it is in my tote bag right now. Let's go through some bikinis, shall we? First one, I have not really like worn these yet. So you'll have to see how they fit, but this is the first one it's like a royal blue color and then the bottom second one is actually the exact same but it's a light blue and i believe it's a halter like around your neck and then bottoms are the same next one is a halter tie bikini i love the little like print that's on it the bottoms are like a high rise but they're still a tiny bit cheeky which i like the next one is this cute little floral red white and pink detail it has like a little ring on this side so cute the top just looks like this it clasps in the back and it has adjustable straps so that's really really cute if you guys want a link to anything by the way just let me know in the comments next up this one's orange pink and white it's so cute 
Love the color combo there. And then these are the bottoms. Next up is this blue and yellow floral one. I just absolutely love this like little detail here and it clasps in the back. They have adjustable straps and it's just really nice. So the bottoms for that, they're a tiny bit cheeky, but still like high rise and I love that. Last bikini I brought this time, but it's like this floral, it has green, purple, orange, white, and it has like a little ring here. It's very flattering. And then the bottoms just look like this. Okay, moving on, I have a few more clothing items in my suitcase here that we'll go through quickly, and then we will get to show you how we're gonna unpack all this stuff. I did bring one pair of sweatpants. This is the Ocean Drive brand. I just love that. I got these in Oceanside, California. I honestly brought these just to be like a cozy little thing to throw on at night or something. Next up, I brought these jeans. These are from Target, and they're like super, super baggy. Like, they're giving Bratz doll vibes. I wore them on the plane. Next, I thrifted this little cropped like yellow top. I just thought I could dress this up real cute and I love yellow in Florida, so. Next, I thrifted this like Hawaiian long maxi dress. It has green and blue and it's just so pretty. I thought I could wear this on the beach. Last but not least, I brought this Buff Bunny take. That's like a really pretty pink color and I actually thrifted this too. So now that we kind of went through like all the clothing items, let me show you what makeup and products I brought and then we're gonna put it all away. So I also brought this little hat from Princess Polly and then I just bought these shoes from Five Below. They have like the best little sandals. And then I bought a few things from Five Below like these pencils, this cute little notebook. And then I'm gonna show you in here, this is the little bathroom, but I have like all of my makeup products out. I have my hair extensions there my little purse there. And yeah, so let me just show you what we have here. So I have some makeup wipes, teeth whitening gel, like a makeup sponge, some powder, nail file. I actually got these nails to put on um, and the glue is here as well. So I need to do that actually later. Um, I have this, if you know, you know. And then you can kind of just see like all the little products I brought, the Porefessionals primer, the spray, some CeraVe, actually it's the Target brand, but it's supposed to be like CeraVe, sunblock for your face. And then I have the hair lightener from Sunbum, the We Leave-In Conditioner. I have my little body spray here, some lashes. I bought lash glue to go with those. I have my Tartlet palette. I have some bronzer sticks from Milk Makeup, my Too Faced bronzer slash contour. And then I have my Wet n Wild little blush that I love. And then I brought some mascaras and a white eyeliner, some brow stuff, eyeliners, whatever. I put all of my makeup brushes in this little cup that they had sitting here. And then I have my gua sha. I just bought this tanning mousse here today and I have my mitt over there. And then I just have like a few random things in here like pimple patches, flossers, little ties. This is my purse. This is a little thing I brought. So I have my CeraVe. And then in here, we just have little travel size things that me and Ryan are sharing. So a body wash, a shave cream, and then the shampoo and conditioner. And then we just bought this tote from Trader Joe's, which I thought was so cute, so I had to have it. And then over here, I have some more of my shoes. So I have pink slides and my like white flip flops. Okay, now that we kind of went through like almost everything that we brought, I also brought, you know, a book, chargers, a heating pad, my medication, a refillable water bottle, all of that stuff. So I kind of left out a little bit here and there, but if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. I love talking to you guys down there. But basically now that I kind of went through everything with you guys, we got to figure out how we can like put these away so that we can plan out outfits, we can easily grab something and go. So that is the whole idea behind this right now. So there's lots of drawers, there's an entire closet here with some hangers and there are a few more drawers. So we're just going to do our best. I'm gonna take you along with me. Okay, so here is like the little closet area. I just hung up like dresses or anything that would like benefit from hanging up. So everything is there. And then over here, I have any matching sets. And then I have sweaters here. This drawer, I have any bottoms, so like jeans, skirts, pants. And then up here, I have all my like crop tops. And then I have like my t-shirts in here. And then I have like a few like random things like sunglasses, a book, hello. And then over here, 
I just have my swimsuits and then the drawer underneath is like my bras, underwear, things like that. I have some of my medications I need to take. And then this was the tote I was talking about before. This is from the Beach Club. It's so cute. Got a little spray hand sanitizer. I have a little blue flower clip in here at the moment. And then this is also my pajamas that I brought. These are from Target, so cute. That's pretty much all for this video. I know it was kind of like a short little fun video to film. And I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up packing and how to unpack that to be more organized and put together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and comment down below and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.